Hi, I'm Doug Young, contributing editor to Acoustic Guitar. And uh, today we're looking at a new microphone by Blue called the Ember. Uh, Blue is a company that's known for making a wide range of microphones, including professional mics that can run all the way up to $4,000. Uh, the Ember, which we see here in front of me, is a great option for home recording, online videos, podcasting, and other applications like that. I've been impressed with how it sounds, and maybe best of all, it costs just under $100. The ember looked very distinctive with a matte bluish gray finish and an attractive grill. And although the mic is small, it's quite heavy, almost a pound, which uh, helps make it feel very sturdy and solid. You always want to treat mics with some delicacy, but the ember doesn't feel like it's fragile. Uh, the ember is a small diaphragm condenser cardioid mic. And although it looks a bit like a larger version of some of the pencil mics you may have seen, it's designed as a side address mic. So you don't point it towards you, the sound picks up from the side. Blue wants to make sure everyone understands this and even has this helpful graphic inside the box that the Ember comes in. As a condenser mic, the Ember requires 48 volts phantom power and it uses a standard XLR connector. So you can plug it into most mixers, recording interfaces and so on. The Ember comes with a mic mount, also very sturdy feeling, uh, that holds it vertically on a mic stand. I like the way the mic mount works. You can start by being able to rotate the mic to help dial in your sound. And then once you find that right orientation, you just tighten the bottom of the clip to hold it in place. So let's listen to how the ember sounds. Uh, everything you hear from now on is the ember, my guitar, as well as my voice. I'll just use this one mic in front of me. Let's listen to how it sounds. Notice that you can hear my voice fine as well using just this one mic. So it would work great for doing demos or YouTube videos or so on. Uh, if I wanted more vocal, I could raise the mic a little bit. The Ember does have a proximity effect like all cardioid microphones. And uh, you're talking from this distance, I'm uh, 12 to 18 inches away, uh, sounds fairly natural. If I wanted to get that you know, big radio voice for a podcast, I could get a lot closer, something, something like this and pick up more bass from my voice. For what you're hearing on this video, I've got the microphone positioned about at the neck body joint and uh, 8 to 10 inches away. At just under $100, the Ember doesn't have too much competition considering the sound and build quality. It'd be a good option for podcasts, uh, video demos, and so on, as well as for home recording. And at this price point, it's tempting to get a pair to be able to record in stereo. So uh, let me wrap this up by playing just a little bit. And what I'll do here is I'll add a little bit of EQ, touch a reverb, and basically do what I would do in mixing a home recording uh, to produce a mono recording using this one Ember mic. Thanks for watching. That's the Blue Ember Microphone. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Doug Young.